Good morning everyone. Welcome to session 12 of unit 2 Engineering Mechanics and Strength of Materials. In the last class we are discussing about types of load applying, strain energy, proof resilience, modulus of resilience. Okay. There are three types of load we are going to apply on any bar gradually applied load suddenly applied load and impact loads correct gradually nothing but incremental loading suddenly applied load is nothing but instant loading impact load is nothing but it is a collapse it is a damaging is a hammering type of load which is called as impact load okay next strain energy energy stored due to straining of material and which is in elastic limit this is known as strain energy and it is also called as resilience the maximum strain energy stored in the material and the loading is in elastic limit and this is known as proof resilience. Proof resilience per unit volume is also called as, is called as modulus of resonance. Proof resilience per unit volume is called as what? Modulus of resilience. Okay. And we solved many problems on strain energy, okay, and for different types of loading, okay, for different types of loading, okay. So, start with uh, today's session composite section on huh? composite section, okay. <coughs> or it is called as compound boss. What is meant by composite section? What is meant by composite section? We have question right. Composite section is nothing but the material or a structure which is composed of two individual material and bonded together and act as a single material and act as a single material. We civil engineer must know the reinforced cement concrete it is a composite material composed of two material one is a steel and concrete. These two, pro two materials are having different properties but still we are using as a, a single material oh, after what casting each other and its behavior should be unique. So in that way we are using. So this is the best example for composite section. Best example for what? Composite section. Okay. Let me start with this. These are the different types of composite section. See H sections which is embedded within the reinforced or cement concrete in the reinforcer cement concrete or steel encased and C it is a rectangle I section which is along with a reinforced cement concrete and circular section and it is a rectangle section circular section and rectangular section okay see how the rectangular section four corners there are steel bars are running around this the concrete is surrounded and it is a circular section in which copper casing and steel rod copper casing and steel rod this is another type of composite section it's a concrete column this is a composite sections of copper and steel rod inside there will be a copper rod and outer there is a steel rod okay these are the two different types of composite sections the many types we have in the our construction activities uh, for the example we are using okay uh, for example uh, <coughs> Cement lining uh, for a cast iron we are using for what? Uh, for carrying of water. Like this we are using. Okay. A zinc coating material over the steel bars we are using. In order to avoid corrosions. 
like it will be there it will be there there are different types of composite section okay next for we need to analyze any problem of composite sections for two conditions one is strain steel is equal to strain in concrete if they composed of reinforced cement concrete and second one is load taken by steel plus load taken by concrete is equal to total load load taken by steel plus load taken by concrete is equal to total load it depends again area of resection and properties of different material ink's modulus of elasticity for steel is different and concrete is different okay like area of section used for concrete is different steel is different it's not only steel and concrete it may be a copper and brass it may be steel and brass like that it will be depends on different condition okay we shall start with the first uh, conditions for which uh, how to analyze this okay see strain in steel is equal to strain in concrete strain in steel is equal to one strain in concrete strain is nothing but change in length divided by original length original length is a form of deformation expressed in terms of a parameter which is called as a strain deformation can be expressed by the parameter which is called as strain it is equal to in what change in length divided by original length or in general it is called as change in dimension to the original dimension change in dimension to the original dimension okay next strain in steel is equal to strain in concrete it is expressed es is equal to ec small es is equal to small ec okay e is nothing but strain which is equal to stress by ings e stress by e e is nothing but ings modulus of elasticity so capital e okay stress in steel divided by stress in uh, sorry ings modulus of elasticity steel is equal to stress in concrete divided by ings modulus of elasticity concrete okay so uh, cross multiplication you can do fs is equal to es by ec into F fc correct okay es by ec we are calling it as a m and fs is equal to m into fc fs is equal to m into fc we have one uh, term m is equal to es by ec which is called as modular ratio it is a modulus of elasticity of steel steel to the modulus of elasticity of concrete which is called as modular ratio modular ratio here we have abbreviations small es is equal to strain in steel small ec is equal to strain in concrete small fs is equal to stress in steel small fc is equal to stress in concrete capital es is equal to ings modulus of elasticity of steel capital ec is equal to ings modulus of elasticity of concrete these are the relations we have these are the relations we have okay understand this next second condition case two load taken by steel plus load taken by concrete is equal to total load load is nothing but the load which is going to be applied or taken or carry okay or carry ps is load taken by steel pc is load taken by concrete okay is equal to capital p p is nothing but load stress into area of that uh, material will give the load taken okay stresses in steel into area of steel plus stresses in concrete into area of concrete which is equal to total load k substituting value of fs is equal to m into fc from equation we are derived by using condition number 1 fc so fc into m is equal to es plus fc into ac is equal to p we are just substituted we are just substituted that okay we are just substituted that right next we will get this uh, equation get this equation see m fc as common factor we are going to take fc as common factor we are going to take <coughs> fc is equal to p divided by m into as plus ac m into as plus ac we are going to take the <coughs> fc as common factor fc as common factor ok 
Okay. This is the equation we got. Here Fs is nothing but stresses in steel. M is modular ratio. Fc is stresses in concrete. Stresses in concrete. Okay. Fc into M into As plus Fc into Ac is equal to P. We have the equation. So take Fc as common here. M into As plus Ac is equal to P. Fc is equal to P by M into As plus Ac. This is the final equation for what? Stress in concrete. Stress in concrete. Okay. Understand. Next. The ratio between ink's modulus of two material is known as modular ratio and denoted as M. The modular ratio of steel to the concrete which is the value standard 15. It's the standard value how much? 15. If not given in the problem we need to assume. If it is given we need to use the same. Understand. This is about the composite sections. This is about the composite section. Okay. Next move on to problems. Move on to problems. I will read out the question here. Two vertical rods, one meter long, one of steel, they are 15 mm, the other of brass is 2 cm. See, they are confused. One unit is in centimeter, another unit is mm. You kept it as common unit. Are loaded with 30,000 Newton force. Find the stress produced by both the materials when x modulus of elasticity of steel is 2 into 10 to the power of 5 Newton per mm square and that of brass is 1.1 into 10 to the power of 5 Newton per mm square. Okay. Okay. Data given Es is equal to 2 into 10 to the power of 5 Newton per mm square. Eb is equal to 1.1 into 10 to the power of 5 Newton per mm square. P is equal to 30,000 Newton. Ds is equal to 15 mm. Db is equal to 20 mm. L is equal to 1000 mm. Find Fs and Fp. Find Fs and Fp. Okay. Fs and Fp. First read the question. Here the two vertical rod. One is a steel. Another one is a brass. Of diameter varying. One is 15 mm. Another one is 2 cm. Otherwise 15 mm and 20 mm. Okay. And uh, elasticity for both materials are given. And length of the material is given. And the load applied is given. We need to find stress in steel and stress in brass. Okay. Now start. Area of steel AS is equal to what? Pi d square by 4. Is 1.5 mm there or sorry 15 mm there Aduna, now 1.5 centimeter and convert into mm 177 mm square area of brass 20 mm there so 2 centimeter by d square by 4 it is 314 mm square fs is equal to es by eb into fp we have the relations earlier we have the relation we dot that fs is equal to m into fc if it is a concrete here it's a brass fs is equal to m into fb M is nothing but here ES by EB. ES by EB. ES is given, EB is given. Calculate that. FS is equal to 1.81 FB. Substitute load taken by steel plus load taken by brass is equal to total load. Load taken by steel is nothing but stress in steel into area of steel plus load taken by brass is equal to stress in brass into area of brass, which is equal to total load taken. Which is equal to what? Total load taken. Understand and then substitute stress in steel is equal to 1.81 times stress in brass into 177 plus stress in brass is into 314 which is equal to 30,000 Newton. Substitute all and we will get a relation 320 FB plus 314 FB is equal to 30,000. Find out FB 47.3186 Newton per mm square and find out FS. FS we have earlier in a generated an equation fs is equal to 1.81 fb and you will get a value 85.646 newton per mm square 84.646 newton per mm square correct okay this is how to find out the this is how to find out the stresses in steel and concrete stresses in steel and concrete okay next second problem Second problem. I'll read the question here. A reinforced concrete column 500 mm diameter is reinforced with 4 bars of 30 mm dia. Find the stress in steel and concrete. 
If it is loaded with a force of 500 kN, the modular ratio of steel and concrete is 15. Is to 15. What is the value Reinforced concrete column is 500 mm diameter is circular column. Okay, that is the bars of uh, uh, reinforcement. Is 4 bars of steel. That's the mm is the diameter 30 mm. Is and remaining area is the area of concrete. And find the stresses in steel and concrete. If it is loaded with how much load? 500 kN and the modular ratio is given. Modular ratio is given. How much it is? 15. Now then, write the data. Column 500 mm layer. Total area. Area of brass is given. Bars are given. Area of bars is equal to 4 into dia. Area of the single bar. Okay. P is given 50 kN. M is given 15. We need to find out stress in concrete and stress in steel. So, area of 5. Column you find out that is total area of the member. Okay, pi into 50 square divided by 4. Okay, next like this you have to find out area of steel is equal to total pi into d square 30 square right? 3 centimeter square. So into 4 times now the because 4 number of bar 2827 mm square area of concrete is equal to total area minus area of steel it is equal to 193424 mm square 44 mm square stress in steel is equal to modular ratio into stress in concrete so fc is equal to 15 into fs 15 into fs and we have relation load taken by steel is equal to load taken by concrete is equal to total load that is fs into as is equal plus fc into ac is equal to total load fs into as is equal to 28.26 fc into ac is equal to 1934.24 which is equal to 50,500 here fs is equal to 15 fc into 28.26 and next we are converting it we are cancelling the zeros number of zeros in order to avoid the number of zeros so we are cancelling directly fc into 1934.24 okay so totally by cumulative multiplication of this 423.9 into fc plus 1934.24 fc is equal to 50 kilo so total fc is equal to 2358.14 which is equal to 500 kilo fc is equal to 2.12 newton per mm square fs is 15 times fc 15 times fc 15 into 21.2 15 to 20. so is equal to how much 31.8 newton per mm square 31.8 newton per mm square understand this is how to calculate the how to calculate the stresses in steel and concrete stresses in steel and concrete okay stresses in steel and Okay, understand. So here only condition is a modular ratio you should calculate and equate it to a stress taken by load taken by each material is equal to total load and substitute the modular ratio uh, relations with one of them and calculate the one of the stresses in the material and substitute it to modular equations and you will get the another value stresses. Another value stresses automatically you can calculate the load taken by each so we move on to next question okay this is a steel rod 20 mm diameter is enclosed in centrally in a hollow copper tube of external diameter 30 mm and internal diameter 25 mm internal diameter 20. the composite bar is then subjected to a load of 40 kN 40 kN Find the stresses in steel rod and that of copper tube. And that of copper tube. E for the steel is 2 into 2 kg and E for the copper is 1 kg per centimeter square. Per centimeter square. 2 kg per centimeter square and 1 kg per centimeter square. Okay. Let me stop that. Write the diagram for that. It's a hollow section copper tube inside there is a steel inside there is a steel correct steel is 20 mm diameter 
copper external dia and internal dia is given. You have to find out the dia of the copper and steel separately. <coughs> right, the diameter of the steel is 20 mm and the internal dia of the copper is 25, external dia is 30, P is 40 kilometer. P is 40 kilometer and ES is equal to 2 into 10 to the power of 5 newton per mm square, EC is equal to 1 into 10 to the power of 5 newton per mm square. Okay, next area of the steel is equal to 314 3.14 centimeter square, and area of copper is, is equal to outer dia minus inner dia 3 minus 2.5 centimeter 2.16 centimeter square. Fs is equal to m into Fc, we know equation Es by Ec is equal to Fc by Fs. So then substitute here and substitute here and convert it all centimeters squares into millimeters. So then you will get the final answer Fc is equal to Fc is equal to 4000 divided by 8.4 and Fs is equal to 7.393 newton per mm square. Fc is equal to 2 into Fs is equal to 94.786 newton per mm square. Newton per mm square okay understand this next one more problem we have one more problem we have a tube of aluminium 40 mm external layer and 30 mm internal layer is rigidly fitted on a steel rod of 20 mm diameter Aluminium to be there, yes, to do 40 mm external layer, 20 mm internal layer. That is fit the central layer, the steel layer, 20 mm. The composite bond is in the central layer. The composite is bond loaded compression by axial load of P. Find the stresses in aluminium when load is such that the stress in steel is 70 newton per mm. So very good question. What is the load taken? Take E for steel is 2 into 10 to the power of per mm square and E for aluminium 0.7 into 10 to the power of 5 newton per mm square. Okay. DS is given steel 20 centrally, the aluminium internal layer 20, external layer 40. P we need to calculate. Stresses taken by steel is given 70 newton per mm square. Stresses taken by aluminium we need to calculate. ES is given 2 into 10 to the power of 5 newton per mm square and E aluminium is given 0.7 into 10 to the power of 5 newton per mm square area of the steel is equal to pi into 20 square divided by 4 3 1 4 mm square area of aluminium is equal to pi by 4 into d square outer <coughs> minus d square internal how much it is 942 mm square 942 mm square and we know fs by es is equal to f aluminium divided by el fs is equal to m into fl so m how to calculate Again, Fs by F aluminium, sorry, Es by E aluminium, which is equal to 2.86. So, Fs is equal to 2.86 times uh, F aluminium. And uh, stresses in steel is equal to 2.86 into stresses in aluminium. Okay. Here, yeah, stresses in steel is given 70. Stresses in steel is given 70. Then, stresses taken by aluminium, we can able to calculate 24. 24.475 newton per mm square then what we need to calculate p load we have to calculate load we have to calculate fs into as is plus f a l into a a l is equal to p substitute all the values calculate total load can be taken by the Composite material is equal to around 45.035 kilo newton. 45.035 kilo newton. Okay. This is how to calculate the load taken by the material. Next, one more problem. A reinforced concrete column of square section 300 mm side has four reinforced timbers 28 mm dia, one in each corner. Find the safe central load on the column if concrete can be stressed to 5 newton per mm square. What is the corresponding stress in the steel reinforcement? What is the load taken by steel? Take the modulation ratio of the concrete as is to 18 m. M 18 kotidare. 
same concrete member is 4 bars of 28 mm diode total 300 mm square section is 300 mm square section is write the diagram and write the given data and what you need to find okay next area of column 300 into 300 area of steel bar 4 into pi d square by 4 is equal to 2462 mm square area of concrete is equal to total area minus area of steel is equal to 87538 mm square stress in steel is equal to Modular ratio into stress in concrete is equal to 90 Newton per mm square. It is because Fc is given. P is equal to Fsas plus Fc AC is equal to 65927 mm square. So then you need to take on, uh, find load taken by steel is equal to Fs into As 90 into 246 22158 Newton. 22158 Newton. Okay. Next multiple choice question. Stresses in composite section of two materials will be load in one material area of the material, load in second material divided by area of the first material, load in one material area of the second material and none of the above. Stresses in composite section of two material will be load in one material divided by area of that material. Strain in composite section of job of two materials will be unequal, equal, twice of each other, none. It is an equal. Next, a composite job consists of only one material, one and a half material, two or more materials or none. Two or more material. Okay. Uh, thank you. If you have any doubt, you can clarify.